Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've sat down and filmed a YouTube video. I thought that today would be the perfect day to jump back in and maybe finally commit to making videos. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Shanice and uh, in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys some of my favorite for find or and not or and some of my luxury for fun. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notification so you guys can get notified when I post new videos. And now uh, let's get into the video. Let's start off with the most expensive thing I've ever thrifted. And that is <laughs> this coat. I wanna get makeup on it. This is a vintage Burberry coat. And I got this for $15. I only paid $15 for this Burberry coat that looks like it's brand new. Everything is attached, everything is in place, the lining is even there. I couldn't believe this when I thrifted it. I said I was originally going to sell it because it's way too big for me, but I held on to it for all these years because it's been a while since I've thrifted this coat. It's a Burberry coat. It's the only designer, luxury designer thing I have in my wardrobe, so I cannot get rid of it. Uh, I was actually thinking about taking it to get it tailored to fit me or maybe just even wearing it oversized because that's also a look, a look, but I don't think I'll ever, ever get rid of this coat. This next one is another one from my, one of my favorite designers and it's Isaac Mizrahi. I think this is like original Isaac Mizrahi. And by original, I mean most brands have like different brands. It, they're brands but different price range so I guess I'm thinking that this one is the designer the, the more on the more luxury expensive side it's a hundred percent silk shirt uh, the color is so lovely and the buttons are gold the sleeves I don't know if something is missing from the sleeve but I don't mind it I think it's different and it's a vibe this pink shirt is just so gorgeous uh, I love it and silk is something that I always look for when I go thrifting so that's how I end up finding that one. Oh, by the way I got that previous silk shirt I think I got it for like around three dollars or something like that I don't quite remember but it was around it was under five dollars this next one I think that it's it's gonna be a part of my spring wardrobe it's kind of extra <laughs> and that's why I, I'm like I think it's gonna be a part of my spring wardrobe it's uh it's this it's not real fur it's faux fur it's just it just looks so bougie it's just i think that this one is just gonna remain in my closet i'll take it out every now and then to make a selfie in it or like wear it over a dress to a fancy party if i ever get to go to a fancy party or if miss rona decided to stop being a raging bitch this has like puff sleeve and i know puff sleeve is a trend at the moment i actually i love it <laughs> when i put this on i look extremely bougie it's by a brand called casper so even though it's faux fur it doesn't it's not built like <laughs> it's not built like that so if you get what i'm saying it seems really well made and i only paid 10 bucks for this next one i don't know i may have regrets buying it may not have regrets buying it i got this one online and i think i paid way too much money for this one <laughs> this one's kind of silly <laughs> i love it though I, actually i love it every time i look at it i just fall more and more in love with it so, so I, I don't regret buying it i did pay 40 bucks for this one though it's a coat from the uh, from the disney beauty and the beast collection i paid 40 bucks for this online just because somebody else wanted it i was in a pit noir yes they wanted it so the price went all the way up to 40 and i was not gonna give up on it because like it's look at the back it's so nice and then it has these like details down here and the bottom of it is no i couldn't i cannot let this go this is just look at just look at that it has buttons on the sleeve it's, it's so pretty like I don't know where I'm gonna wear it to. So this next one, I know it wasn't gonna fit, but when you see a reformation dress for twenty-five dollars, 
you buy that reformation dress especially when it still has the price tag on it okay so i bought this to sell it it's brand new with the tags one of the tags has fallen off with the price on it um it's way too small for me it's an extra small but it fits more like an extra extra small it's just a really lovely reformation dress i saw it i was on shopgoodwill.com and i saw it up there and i, was, I thought and reformation dress go for like almost 300 dollars. i can actually just resell this and make back way more than what I paid for it. So I decided to pick it up. Sad that it can't fit because it's a lovely dress. It's a reformation dress and to have a piece of reformation in my closet would be like chef's kiss but I cannot afford it at the moment. So I'll just search the thrift shop for them until I find one that can actually fit. It's just so sad that this can't fit, but if you are interested, I will be listing it on my Depop, which will be linked in the description bar. I don't know the brand of this, but I could not leave this when I saw it. It's kind of vintage style. I love the detail in the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. The buttons are so nice. The sleeve is like... What do you call the sleeve? I don't know. But this shirt is just so lovely. I could not leave it when I saw it. The color is nice as well. It's perfect for the spring. I think I thrifted this for about three to five dollars. What else can I say about it? I just I couldn't leave it. It's just one of those things you look at and you're like, should I wear it? I don't want to mess it up. But like it's it's just look at it. It's, <laughs> Look at it one more time. It is so pretty. This video is going by very fast. I think I have more that I can show that I loved, but I thought I didn't want this video to be very long. That's why I only throw trolls like this stuff. And then, I don't know, maybe people are, wouldn't be like interested in this video. So if this video does well, I'll, I'll show you guys more of the stuff that... The next thing I thrifted many years ago, I don't even remember how, mu how much I paid for it. I originally bought this one to sell as well, but I just couldn't do it. I know like I could have fetched a good amount on the resale price, but I just I just couldn't sell it and it's this black leather coat. See it's from Express, but I'm pretty sure it's vintage Express because they don't make their clothes like this anymore. And I just couldn't get rid of it. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I couldn't I bet it's it's it wasn't more than around 10 bucks this is a, one of my favorite things that i have in my closet it goes with my black leather boots so perfectly well and this is one of those things that will stay in your closet for years and years to come nobody else has a coat like this so i was glad to find this at the thrift shop i guess it's not hot actually so let's turn that off and put it back anyways this is another one of them that i got i thrifted i actually got this on shopgoodwill.com it is by the brand uh let me see if i'm pronouncing it right i cannot see anything <laughs> um it's by the brand bcbg Mexaro, and i guess it's like more like the <laughs> let me see if i can say this word right high-end brand for bcbg generation or bcb generation i'm sure way you pronounce that i got this one for $12.99 the shipping was a dollar so i got it for 12.99 the original price on this bag well the original price that it says on the tag was 300 and something dollars so was i happy to pick this up for 12 dollars yes it's cute it's neat i love the color um i'm not a too big fan of this part here in the middle but i don't mind it when i'm carrying it it's not like i'm paying attention to it just make sure that it matches whatever i'm wearing it with and so this video was like really quick really fast and um the next thing that i want to show you guys i can actually show you guys more but <laughs> no, just okay. the next thing i want to show you guys is the f my favorite boots I've, that i've ever thrifted i've been wanting a pair of boots from this designer for like a while now this designer is actually on my mood board for 2021 a pair of shoes and a different color in the same boots was on my vision board for last year i did not get those boots hopefully this year i can if that youtube thing if this youtube thing works out wink wink it's all on you guys it's stuart weitzman i thrifted stuart weitzman 
loose and they're in great con condition. I actually, this is not my first pair that I thrifted. This is actually the second pair of store white men that I thrifted, and I got them for really, really, really great price for like under twenty dollars. I think the the most I've ever gotten one for was forty bucks, and I ended up selling those ones on Depop. I'll put a picture right here of the other ones. They were in great condition too. They were brand new, and they they were like vintage store white men boots. It's such. It was just so sad that they could not fit me because if they had. I would have never, somebody else would have never gotten those boots, I would have never sold them. But I did make around $300 on them when I resell them though, so you might not, I'm not so mad. Probably this is the shortest video I have ever filmed, but I enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, I'll do more because I do thrift a lot. I'm the queen of thrift, so I have plenty more thrifts to show you guys of my favorites if you guys want to see them. And I hope that this convinced you guys to go thrifting. You might find very unique pieces that you can add to your wardrobe that you can have for years and years and years. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please comment and tell me which one of these was your favorite. And um, if you guys also want me to come with videos like this, let me know in the comment section. Uh, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah,